still so many questions, of course, with this dog illness. Let's go ahead and bring in vet Melissa Beyer to talk more about this. Dr. Beyer, thank you for being here with us. Absolutely, happy to be here. For any concerned dog owners out there, what are the symptoms that indicate their dog might have this illness? Absolutely, so the biggest things we're seeing are a progressive hacking type of cough, sneezing, runny eyes, runny nose. Those are the most common things that we are seeing and hearing right now. Do you have any theories as to what this illness exactly is? Yeah, so, you know, one of the things that we're doing is running a lot of panels to see, you know, is it anything we've seen before? Majority of those are coming back negative. So the concern is, is this a new virus, a new bacteria, or is it a mutation of something that we have seen before? And that's where there's a lot of research being done at a lot of our major veterinary schools to figure out exactly what this is. We know that cases are spiking now, but it's interesting to point out that this de disease has actually been around since last year. Why do you think it's taken so long for these cases to finally surge? Yeah, so that's a good question. I think some of it happens to be, you know, with you know, a lot of dogs being in close proximity at certain times of year. Changes in weather can definitely do that too. We do have some common spikes certain times of the year, but definitely just that spread from, you know, the coast across the country, that's the biggest thing we're seeing. And then tying all of this together and working to get an answer, that's what takes time. Dr. Melissa Blyer, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.